Welcome back to another episode. We are in the final two months of this season. Now, uh, today we are going to be playing against Stockport and one other team because we've only got five games. Realistically, I could do this whole... I could actually do end up doing these final two months uh, right now. Since there isn't that many games left, and then we can start off the next season with a bang. Which I think is actually what I'm going to go do. So, um, last month we played... Uh, we played Colchester, we played Liverpool, and we played Crawley. Now, Colchester was a decent game. Crawley was PL2 house, but Liverpool... We barely lost the penalties. <laughs> so, I mean, while we're here, um, standings, we are facing Stockport, obviously, first. Tied on games played, but we're ahead. This could end up being the title. A title fight uh, match. As we just see our guys, uh, 80 potential, ooh, oh, a 92 potential keeper. Oh, you know, no, we're good. But that is actually a huge finding from a one-star recruit finding a 90 rated, potentially a 90 rated keeper. But I'm not going to stall any further. We are going to go into the match with Stockport. We are here. And we are hoping for a good result. So we are. We are hoping. Are we away or are we at home? We are away. So we're at Stockport's home ground. I assume hoping we can try and essentially win the title. We've made such a push in the last couple of games, which is just incredible. As you know, why are we picking up form so late? No idea. But it is now more reassuring that Kemp is leaving at the end of the season from his loan spell. So let's try and let it go on a high. But we are going to stick with Kemp. He's on the ball and he's just going to he's gonna take a little shot. <coughs> I guess just to test the keeper. I mean, if we can just keep the pressure like we're doing now... They can't get out of their half. We're good. Now, other Faro thinks he's going to test the keeper. He's going to try a little shot. <laughs> it looks like it's easy, comfortable saves. Which, to me, is worrying. Clint's going to cross it into Murph. Our center. <laughs> Malif. <laughs> I don't know why you're trying to do this spectacular, like, pop up volley. This man wants to be a volley. We... Oh. So, yeah, as you can see, we have... A lot. As Adavaro just... <laughs> Adavaro has just walked through their defense. <laughs> That is incredible. <laughs> the man we only get for one year. Because we are too low down for probably someone of his caliber. It's insane. The stuff he's done, he may not score a lot of goals, but the stuff he does to help our team is incredible. And this man also does a lot, but this game just can't get the shots off. Like Tracy's being thrown to the ground in a aerial battle. But 
you know, our center back, his center back partner has him covered. Now we're just going to work the ball around. We brought in Kinestelia instead of Khan. That was our only change because Khan's been quite sloppy in recent games. Speak, stop speaking about that as Murphy tries a audacious pass as Ueke is going to whip the ball to Aldavaro isn't in the box may have just pissed off a couple of people by choosing him over just putting it in the box in general but Stockport via Tori now Wooten's gonna Okay, so they Witten's almost just scored for them. And that's half time. They get one chance in the entire half and they almost just banged it in. Okay, so they are one of those teams that may not have a lot of possession. But they certainly are going to get a lot done. We have controlled the game. But, in the second half, we don't know what's going to happen. As you can see, Madden wants to try and dribble past us. But physically can't, because we have a decent defensive structure. Now here's the man that whipped the ball in Torque. Or however you pronounce it. I'm the butcher of pronouncing names. Kinestelia forgets that he's playing CDM and not center mid. And now, defense. Uweke, a crucial challenge. They can, they can call and say to the referee, oh, it's a pen, but realistically, just get up there. My shade on the counter attack. <laughs> we attack so quickly, I can't even get a chance to speak. Now, Hutton's going to whip the ball in. Kemp gets his head to it, and it's just wide. So it looks like it's just going to be one of these games where it could be back and forth for the second half, which might suit us as long as they don't get a shot off. But Kolar is just done Ueke. Now he's going to slide a low ball in for... Okay, so they, he was actually offside. Good to know. Now that's like a wake up call. Now it's a wake up call. Let's just keep the ball. The wake to shade. To Murphy out wide. He's gonna go back to the wake. Passing they can't now Kemp's got the ball, but Kemp only has attack in mind and he's just been taken out. How is that not a yellow card at least? My man is just being taken out. Now, what can Kemp do from this free kick? He's going to line one up. He's just going to hit it. Probably the better said. Uh, it's best not to say anything about that free kick attempt. He did not strike that cleanly at all. Ah, but Kemp gets the ball back. I'm gonna go to Kinestelia, the man who we replaced. Oh, that was. Emil Shea just wants to. Kemp finds Murphy. And Murphy buries it. And it's two 0 just just like that. You know, it's 2-0 now. I think Murphy can come off. I think Kanye can come off. This is the one thing that confused me. How does this man have such... This man has 92 stamina. What the heck? I'm going to bring Khan on and swap them around. Bring on three substitutes all in the midfield. Or the middle of the area. 2-0 up with 13 minutes. Bring on fresh faces. 
and let's see how we go. Stockport aren't Stockport aren't going to give up. They will keep fighting, which is going to be the annoying part as they bring it out wide to to the canoe. But Blake Tracy uh, <laughs> makes that easy. Easy to defend, but they have a corner. They score from this, they are fully in it. But they haven't. Adavaro just can't get to the to the clearance. Wooten has it after a cross it goes nowhere. <laughs> Hooten blocks it and it's just a throw in. We we have no there is no let off here. And Baldini as just after a cross from the, the Torquay guy beats Blake Tracy and it's 2-1 just like that they never let off and they finally got the reward but it's probably going to be a constellation McCanny is going to go to Ahmed Ahmed makes it through but gets fouled via the first person so we are just going to whittle down time I'm just going to tell Canastelia to whip it in And that is all they wrote. We have just won possibly the title winning match. And it feels very, very good to say that we've done that. Because with that, we go five points clear ahead of Forest Green now. Forest Green only have three games left. Or four games left. But uh we will be playing we have we have uh seven games left. They have five. We have two games in hand. But I will see you for when we play uh Hargit Town. I'm or Hargan Town or the uh, Ackerton. Uh yeah, I will see you in uh, when we will be facing against uh one of those two teams, whichever one I have decided on. Not need to redo that. Righty then. We are back. Um I had a last little change up. I think I'm just going to play Harrogate Town instead of Accrington Stanley because as you can see in the table they're pretty much next to each other and it's kind of like we're affecting both of them. But like looking at the table it looks quite close in certain aspects. Um, We have dropped points. We were five points ahead. We're now two. Uh, because we drew to Crew Alexander, then we lost 1 0 to Wimbledon. So we're going to play Harrogate Town. Um, and then we will probably play. We will just play Barrow as our final game to end off the season. And I think that is probably us done. So we will just head. Let's just head straight into this match. Alrighty then. We are here. For the game against Harrogate Town. And yeah. Also just to point out. I actually did sign. I did promote two youngsters. As there is an objective to make money. But to bolster. So we don't have to worry about getting extra positions. We have brought. Uh, Meza. Is our, center, is our young center mid. And Martinelli is our new CDM who is actually just as good as Brown but Brown's actually younger but two youngsters we found a center back I thought it was a goalkeeper we found a center back that could have 90 potential so it could be a really good find which he'll be integrated shortly into the squad you know we've got a lot of positions covered and if we can keep our youth system going we're so we might have to send our scout out or get a new better one. <laughs> but we're gonna 
focus on the game in hand. Kemp is going to find Martinelli. He plays really high for a CDM. He's going to find Shade. He's going to find Meza. Meza just can't get the ball out of his feet. Also, I think we're going to need to change up the structure for next season. And there is confirmation. If we draw today, we are guaranteed playoff positions. So we are guaranteed to be fighting for promotion regardless. But if we lose, still open. Kemp finds Murphy, who's been on hot form. But he can't finish it. Murphy has been very good this second half since Young left. So we have had to rely on him to help Ahmed grow. Shade's going to find Murphy. He's going to find Kemp. He's going to find Murphy again. Murphy tries a little scoop shot. But the keeper saves it. And Kemp's just going to try a different ground piece. He's going to try and put one to the edge of the box. Now Meza's going to receive it. Meza's going to play it back to Kemp. Kemp's going to go back to Meza. Meza's going to take the little shot. And just try to... He wanted to try and put it close... Near post, it looked like. Catch the keeper out. Now, Har now Hargit can be on the attack. They're going to wind up a shot. But Hutton <laughs> just gets there. Now, Blake Tracy's going to run. He sees Shade up at the top of the pitch. That is horrendous ball. And it goes straight to the keeper's arms. Uweke wins the header. I'm just going to play to Meza. He's going to play to Martinelli. He's going to play it out to Aldevaro. A man who's unfortunately going to have to leave us. As we are probably going to struggle to pay his wages. With how much he is growing. He's going to find Hutton. He's driving forward. He's going to find Aldevaro again. And Aldevaro shoots. It straight into the keeper. Into the defender. But that is half time. We are completely fine. Ooh. Our our team is fine. We know we just need a we now know a draw is guaranteeing us in. As let's uh, see what Forest Green are also drawing. They're our closest competitors, so we're happy. We have to keep an eye on Forest Green here. If we miss out on a trophy, I'd be very gutted, but we have to keep make sure we at least match four screens results in terms of it's a victory or a draw. If they lose, we draw. It's points gaining. Now Kemp's going to run with the ball. He's going to find Murphy. Murphy's got no options. So he's just going to play it back to Martinelli. He's going to find Meza. Our number 15. He is getting quite comfortable with the ball. Murphy tries to find Meza back for a 1-2, but just doesn't end up working. Now, can Hargit spoil the party? Somehow get the ball back, even though Hutton intercepts. And Malif just boots it straight back, but we win the ball. Now, can we attack? Not really. We might have to think about making some changes. Other well, was gonna find Murphy. He's in a bunch of space thanks to Shade being so up so high up the pitch. Kemp's gonna find Aldevaro again. Aldevaro goes back to Kemp. Kemp shoots. It's a block. And before this corner, we are actually going to make some changes. We're going to bring on Khan and McCrennan. And that is all we're going to do. We're just going to swap the CDM midfield. Just we need, we need experience for this time of the hour. Get the youngsters to start. Get them used to playing games with this team. Falls to Khan. 
Khan finds Murphy, which is the pass it backwards. Hargit are quite good defensively. But Kemp finds McCrannan. We need to start whipping the ball in as well. That is probably one of our other flaws. We don't cross the ball enough. Only time we cross is when it's a corner. Oh, we have been opened up. Hutton tries. Kinda puts him off. Now can we kinda steal it near the near the end? Murphy to the camp. To the camp. Kemp tries to get back to Murphy, but the pass just gets blocked. Can't intercept their pass. McGrennan to Kemp to Murphy. Now can Murphy run and shoot? He can do both of them, but can he score? Yes, he can. And with less than 10 minutes to go, we are winning. We're going to bring County on just to get fresh legs in the middle. Kemp has run all over the field, and we have gotten that goal that we desperately, desperately needed, in a way. Now, can he? Can't win, can't keep the ball. We are going to go more defensive. We need to. Malif, beautiful from the centre back. Just gets tackled though. And he's out of position. But Hutton wins the ball. This will be a crucial win in just a title fight scenario. Now Uwek. All he has to do is run with the ball. And the game is over. We are celebrating like we've just won a major trophy. Because that has now confirmed we are in the playoffs. And as you just seen there, Forest Green actually drew. Meaning, if you look at the standings, we are now four points clear. And Forest Green have two games remaining. We are five points clear of Stockport, who has four games. This is going to be interesting. <sighs> so, why did we do all of this? I will uh, see you for our final match of the episode against Barrow and could potentially be the title deciding thing. I may change the game depending on if it is a title. Oh, it's a guardian case of the lag. Yes, as you could hear just there by the commentators. We have 90 minutes to win this match and guarantee ourselves champions of League 2. No matter what, we guarantee ourselves automatic promotion, but this can make us champions by beating Sutton United and that is it then our final game you will see me quick sim it and we will be living happily our f our second last game with Kemp potentially if we cannot sign him next season but let's get to this match and hope we can do it Kemp obviously understands the mission Obviously our last match obviously with Aldevaro, the free agent we've brought in, 
I could expect us to see a lot more free agent transfers next season. Murphy is going to Aldevaro. Oh, can Aldevaro show us some magic? He gets... A, a, that's a weird sly tackle, I'm going to be completely honest. Oh, Hutton's been... Hutton's been sort of done there. Hargit are going to... Hargit, Sutton are going to whip it in. That's not good. Day we need to win. Sutton look like they could be trying to spoil the party. Like Tracy just can't get... Like Tracy is making challenges. <laughs> I can't say anything. My heart's in my mouth. Can tell you. No, McGrennan. Can tell you. That shows where my head is right now. We are at, upon us something of something I did not expect at the start of the season when we were sitting fifteenth after the first month. We saw it tenth after the after the fourth month of our managerial career at this club. Now we're sitting top after our ninth and tenth month, which is going to be in one episode, because it's kind of done only having three games. We're on something that I did not think was possible. Now Shade's going to whip it in. Kemp, can Aldevaro, Aldevaro just. Lost the ball. He couldn't, did not realize. Oh, as uh, Sutton, one of Sutton's players have announced they're retiring. Also, Charlie Austin's retiring. So can we give Charlie Austin a farewell present even though he is in the reserves? He has played a couple of games for us. A shade. To Murphy, to Kemp. Kemp is... Gonna go back up to Shea because there's so much space up in the left side. Shea's gonna whip an early ball in. Goes to nothing. And that's really the highlight of our game right now. Nothing. We just keep going to the left side because the left side works. No shade. He finds McCrennan. Can't get it. The shot off. And that is half time. So we are trying to win but Sutton are making it difficult they did have a couple of uh, attempts early on but crucially if you did just see just for a split second Ackerton are beating Stockport so at the current system we are going to win the league we are winning the league no matter what but I have made sure not to tell our players. I'm not going to tell the players. If we go 1 0 down, we still win. We lose, we still win. The league. At this current rate. I want to win. Every manager in this scenario wants to win, and I am not anything different. I want our team to win. Give the fans something to cheer about as we lift the trophy. Now Ward is going to play this to Malief. To Khan, he just seems to slow down running. Aldevaro's just going to... Aldevaro. Kemp tries to release it. Khan gets beaten to the ball and then proceeds to walk by the ball. Uweke. Good. Got Kemp. Kemp on the ball. He slides Murphy through. Murphy has the pace over this number six. He has to turn him back. He finds Aldevaro. Aldevaro tries to make room for the shot. He finds Shade. And the, the keeper just saves it. We cannot score. Now Hutton throws it into Aldevaro. Can Aldevaro produce something magical? He's going to try. Oh, he's going to try. He's going to try a shot. The keeper saves it. We have to bring on Canastelia. We need 
We just need the workhorse. Kemp's going to whip it in to Murphy. Murphy does it. Is, is that the goal? Does Murphy score the final goal before we lift the trophy? Okay. This could be it. You can hear the commentators. They've said, could it be the goal to lift the trophy? At the rate we're going, that could be the goal that just kickstarts our domination on this match for the final 20 minutes. So Aldevaro has a pop. Keeper saves it. Aldevaro's going to get to it. And he's going to try another one from a tighter angle. But the keeper saves it again. And just like that, back to back saves, we have the momentum fully on our side. The shade gets the ball taken off of him. The Hutton's just going to have to slow the attack down. Aldevaro did not want to help out. Hitton keeps it. Now we're going to get it. Murphy. Beautiful ball to Kemp. Kemp just calmly slides it in. And that should be it. That should be it. No further questions asked. Stockport, we're 2-0 down at the, start of today, at the start of this half. We're 2-0 up. Unless they have scored four goals, it doesn't even matter. Unless we concede two or three, unless we concede three goals, it does not matter. We have won the title. Castilla finds Kemp. He's going to wait for Aldevaro, but he finds Murphy instead. Now can Murphy end up? He's going to find Shade, and Shade can't put it away. Murphy did the unselfish thing and just waited. But that is it. Referee has blown the whistle. And I can't believe the first season of this road to glory back to the Prem to maybe win the Champions League with this team or win the Prem with this team ends in us winning League 2. I'm just going to let this play out. All of us just... All the guys just having fun. As you can hear, jump in circles. <laughs> Look at this. This is a sight. This is what we need to be seeing year after year after year. And our captain, Malif, is going to be loving this. You can hear all our players are just ecstatic to win League 2. But from nowhere at the start of the season, to now League 2 champions. We have done it. We are League 2 champions. And we are now guaranteeing ourselves a place in League 1. With hopefully trying to get up to, league, to the championship next season. I mean, with the players we've had to work with, with a couple people leaving on loan, Aldevaro's not going to be here, which to me sucks. The fans are loving it. We can get Kemp next season. I think we could do the exact same. I think we can get to the championship. This is a sight to see. <laughs> I wish you could see the manager in this, you know. That's something they really missed. That is just incredible. It's just incredible. And just to clarify, Stockport did lose, so we didn't even need to win. But it just makes it even better, the fact that we won at home to win the title. And that is confirmation. With one game left, we are physically uncatchable. We had to lose that game to give even Wrexham a chance. But Wrexham would have had to score 15 goals next match just to win. 
that is just incredible. And just to confirm, Colo, man, he put out a transfer request. Squad lacks quality. <sighs> there we go. Confirmation, Colo has decided he doesn't want any more part of this. At this club, even though we've just won the league title. All because I didn't play him in the start of the season. And we couldn't re renegotiate the contracts. As Hart is just... Trying... Uh, Kemp. What are they saying about Kemp? Yeah. Uh... We should probably look to begin negotiations with the parent club as soon as possible. Yep, I agree. Kemp. Kemp is crucial because MK Dons are still going to be in League 2. They're totally going to want to play with Totally want money from us. I mean, we've won the league. Realistically, we don't need to play our big boys. They can get a little break. They can get a, they can get a, a break. McCrown and come off. Uh, bring on Martinelli instead. Center backs bring on board for his final game. Uh, we'll bring on Clayton. Actually, no, we played on mid turn. And then Clayton. Uh, Cassini for Hutton. We'll bring on Divine. I was going to bring on Colo, but no, I did confirm that he's decided he doesn't want to do. We need another goalkeeper. Hmm. We need wingers. Or left midfielders. Realistically, we just did that. Bring on Kane for his last game. Kane. And kill us then. And you just get to see me quick swim it. Because it doesn't matter. We've won the league. I'm a happy man. We lose 3-1 because we're playing a weak side. We don't care. Doesn't even matter. If Wrexham won, congratulations. You would have tied us on points if we didn't win our final ma our last match. And they ended up doing that, but it doesn't matter. Prized money. We get a million. We're at a million. Oh my goodness. Golden Boot winner. Season goals of 20. So he was a high school scorer of 20. Was Murphy. But um, I'm going to actually end it here. Jins aren't going to see me go through this little part here, but if you did enjoy, please leave a like. You know, winning the title is incredible. With the stuff we had at the start of the season, the fact that we were so out of it and then only started coming back at F on like the fifth episode, the fifth month we came back and we're now winning it four months, five months later is incredible. And yeah. I will see you for the start of season two. See ya.